I just felt like I looked like Little Miss Muffet's Tuffet. Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to look at some hits and some misses from Walmart. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Super random side note, I have my hair up because in a little bit I'm going to invite you into my kitchen and we're going to cook a delicious meal together. But I digress, let's look at the first piece. I want to start with the top that I'm wearing. I love this color so much. I am going to link all of the pieces that I share with you in this video in the description box below. This one I did pick up in store. This is by the brand Time and True. They're calling this the Angel Sleeve Top. That name just makes me happy. It's only $12.98. This is available in sizes extra small through XXXL and it does come in four colors. I had a hard time deciding. Every color was gorgeous. This is called Rock and Roll Red. I love the name as well. And this is a corally red. It is so vibrant and so pretty for spring and summer. The fabric is 52% linen and 48% polyester. It is easy care, machine wash cold and tumble dry. This features a pullover styling. It does have a crew neckline and then it has this comfortable smocking at the neckline. It does have a keyhole in the back, but I want to point out that I was able to pull this over my head without undoing the fussy button so I was really happy about that and then my favorite part about this top is the angel sleeves this is just a little flounce it is not a big poofy ruffle at all I have a top coming up that has way too many ruffles for me but I digress overall I love this top it is baby blanket soft it feels like a well-worn t-shirt I have already worn and washed this multiple times and I just love it sometimes smocking can be scratchy and itchy by the way and this is very comfortable on the upper chest this next top although beautiful was a complete miss for me I'm going to tell you all the reasons why I really wanted to love this one but little miss Muppet called and she wants her tough it back the way this fit me was just wrong in every way possible. This is by Sofia Vergara, so it is an online purchase. They're calling this the Smocked Ruffle Top. It is $28. It is available in sizes extra, extra small through XXXL. The fabric of this is 100% polyester. I have to say that it does not have a slick polyester feel. It honestly feels more like a cotton. It feels very lightweight and breezy and breathable. I love that about it. This also also has easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold and tumble dry. This top does come in two solids and two prints. And the other one that I'll share with you in just a moment is a print and it is gorgeous. This features an easy pullover styling, a flattering V neckline with smocking detail, and this can be worn on or off the shoulder. Of course, if you wear this off the shoulder, you would need to wear a strapless bra or if you're wearing it on the shoulder, I did find this to be bra friendly, so I just wanted to point that out. It has a flirty ruffle trim and then a figure flattering peplum at the hem. And as you know, a peplum can hide a multitude of sins. Here are the reasons why this top did not work for me personally, but I wanna stress that on the right person, this would look gorgeous. First, I ordered the wrong size. I ordered a size small, and in hindsight, I really should have ordered an extra small because the V is pretty deep although it doesn't show cleavage and I love that about it it really was too loose on the shoulder but where I really ran into the most significant problem was in the torso I also have a short torso and the way the waistline of this hit caused all of this ruffling to compress and cause a big poof at the tummy area and on my back. And I just felt like I looked like Little Miss Muffet's Tuffet. I love this so much. I wish that this had a shorter waist, but if you have a longer waist, it's not going to do that on you. I think this is so pretty both on the shoulder and off. Now, as much as I love that crisp white, when I look at this pattern, I'm even sadder that this did not work for me because I think this pattern is gorgeous. I love everything about it. It's kind of an abstract. It's not really a floral. It's not really a tie-dye. It's somewhere in between. It has this pretty peach and lilac and pops of coral and hot pink. 
I think it is so very pretty. But again, just like with the other one, because I am short-waisted and because I needed a size down, all of these ruffles just compressed and landed right at the belly area. So this one is a miss for me, but I do have some hits to share with you. I'm going to switch gears for just a moment to answer a question that I get asked all of the time in the comments. And it has to do with what do I eat in a day? Now, as you know, maintaining a healthy weight over the age of 50, the struggle is real. And I am in the same boat as many of you. I follow a loose, low carb way of eating. It is not a diet per se, but it's just what works best for me. And with that said, I do not always have the time to plan and prep a meal. This brings me to today's sponsor, which is Green Chef. And can I just tell you how thrilled I am to have a video sponsored by a service that I have been using for months. Case in point, I have in my hand all of the recipe cards that I have accumulated from using this service personally, paying for it with my own money, by the way, and I have about 60 recipe cards. Every one of these meals were restaurant quality and delicious. I want to tell you just a little bit about Green Chef, and then I'm going to invite you into my kitchen, and we are going to make a delicious meal from start to finish together, and then we're going to do a taste test. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients. Something that was very important to me personally, and the reason that I tried this service in the first place months before they reached out to me, is that Green Chef offers options for every lifestyle, including keto and paleo, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. If you are on any type of restricted eating plan, you know how difficult it is to come up with unique ways to fit in the nutritious meals that you need, right? And this was my case as well. Some of the reasons that Green Chef works for me, and I'm just going to keep it real, as much as I love restaurant quality food, as much as I am a foodie, I don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. I really don't. All of those recipe cards that I showed you a moment ago, with the exception of maybe two or three, can be made in under 30 minutes. Some of them can be made in under 20 minutes. And a lot of the prep is done for you. It saves so much time. So all we have to do is go into the fridge and pull out the bag of ingredients. Here is everything that we're going to need to make this other than oil and salt and pepper. Let's get cooking. The first meal that we're going to make is Cuban spiced barramundi with chipotle slaw and garlicky sauteed broccoli with almonds. We're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees, then we're going to zest half of the lime and quarter the rest. Next, we're going to cut the broccoli into bite-sized pieces and then mince the garlic. I happen to have a garlic press, so I'm going to use that, but of course you can just use a knife as well. Then we're going to roughly chop the roasted almonds and the pre-shredded cabbage. Next, we're going to peel and shave the carrots lengthwise into ribbons, kind of rotating the carrot as we go. As you can see, all of our ingredients are already prepped, and this took all of literally two minutes. Moving on to the fish, we simply pat the pre-portioned fillets dry with paper towels and season with this custom Cuban spice blend. I have had this spice blend before. It is delicious. We're going to top that with some salt and pepper. Now we're going to move over to the stove and in an oven safe saute pan, we're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of the cooking oil of your choice. I personally love to cook with olive oil. Depending on your dietary needs, you can choose whatever cooking oil works the best for you. We're going to start the fillets skin side up and it only takes about three or four minutes to cook. We're going to flip the fillet and we're going to squeeze it with fresh lime juice that we got from the lime quarters from earlier. Then we're going to transfer the pan to the oven and roast it for eight to ten minutes. Now we're going to move on to the fresh side dishes. In another saute pan we're going to add our cooking oil. As soon as the oil is hot we can add our bite-sized broccoli pieces, a little bit of salt and pepper and just saute that for about four to six minutes 
or to your liking. Then we're going to add the minced garlic and almonds, and I have to tell you that after just about 60 seconds, this smells amazing. My stomach is rumbling. I cannot wait to taste this. Now for our chipotle slaw, we're just going to toss the cabbage and the carrot ribbons that we made earlier in a bowl. This recipe did come with a sauce packet. I have had this sauce before and I love it. It is a chipotle ollie with lime. We just toss this together, add some salt and pepper, and all of our side dishes are done. Now it's time to plate this delicious dinner, and I have to tell you, I am really looking forward to tasting this. How delicious does this look? Okay guys, so here's our completed dish, and if I don't say so myself, it looks just like the picture on the recipe card from Green Chef. I made you a bite with a little bit of everything on it, so we have the oven roasted barramundi, the broccoli with the almond and garlic, and then some of that chipotle slaw. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. I cannot tell you how delicious this is. The fish is delicate and mild. It's especially good with the fresh lime zest and a squeeze of lime. And then the broccoli has this nice earthy flavor with the almonds and the garlic. It smells so good. And then to top things off, you have this fresh chipotle slaw. I want to show you the finished result of the additional recipes that I got in this box because they're just too gorgeous and delicious not to share them with you. So I also made za'atar roasted chicken and this had a tahini sauce, cauliflower couscous with roasted carrots and almonds. I loved this dish. Then I moved on to the beef and mushroom chili. This is a household favorite for sure. This has roasted peppers, adobo tomatoes. It has a little bit of a kick, but not too much. It's also something that I like about the Green Chef service is that you can decide how much of a spice you want to use so you can really customize it to taste. This also had a sauce packet. I have had this sauce packet before as well, and I love it. It is the cilantro lime crema, and then the whole dish gets sprinkled with freshly grated cheddar cheese that you didn't have to grate because Green Chef did it for you. I am so excited to share this next part with you because you probably picked up on the fact that I would not be doing this video if there wasn't something in it for you. All you have to do is pop over to greenchef.com, use my code at checkout, it is Teresa Renee 130 That will get you $130 off and shipping is free. Not for nothing, but this is like getting free groceries. So what an affordable way to try this service. But with that said, let's jump back into the fashion. This next piece is a dress. I did pick this up in store at my local Walmart, and I was feeling so indecisive the day that I picked this up that I picked it up in three colors and a couple of different sizes because my size always sells out at my local Walmart. This is by the brand Time & True. They're calling this the sleeveless tiered midi dress. It is under $20. It is $18.98, and I think that is a steal. That is a great price for a one-and-done outfit. This is available in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it comes in six patterns and colors. I have three of them to share with you, and I'm not mad about it because that way you can see them all mixed and matched in different outfits. The fabric is 100% cotton, and it is this light, airy, gauzy feeling dress. It has that kind of built-in wrinkling, if you know what I mean. And I'm not mad about that either, because this is easy to pack. You just pull it out of the suitcase, give it a shake, and if it has a little bit of wrinkles, who cares, right? It's supposed to have that gauzy kind of wrinkly look. I actually like that look on a dress like this. This has easy care instructions, machine wash cold and tumble dry. This features easy pullover styling. It has decorative buttons on the front. They are not working buttons, but I think they add a really cute detail. It has this pretty feminine tiered skirt and it also has pockets. Now just for your reference, because of the way this is cut in on the sleeves, I did have on a tee back or a racer back bra. This does have a high neckline. Now I personally would never wear this buttoned all the way up for a couple of reasons. I really prefer a v-neck because it is more elongating, but I have to say that these particular buttons are extremely fussy. When I went to show this buttoned, I, for the life of me, could not get these buttons done at first. I finally managed it on the third color that I'll share with you, which is a gorgeous teal. 
but it's really fussy. The elastic is tight. It's very difficult to manipulate, especially if you have any kind of fingernails. And I have dip nails, so I just couldn't do it. But either way, I like it as a V-neck better anyway. You'll notice throughout the try-ons that you're no doubt watching off to the side that I show a number of these outfits with a denim topper that I've had for a couple of years now. It's just a very lightweight, ties at the waist. I love it with all of these summer looks. I will link that in the description box below. Here's the same dress in this fun, sunny yellow. I think this is so pretty. When I put this one on, I was really concerned that it would be see-through. I decided to do a test and go out on the deck in full sun and see if you could see through this dress. I'm sure that I'm running the footage now as I'm talking about it. I personally do not think that it's too see-through. I was really worried because although, yes, you could put a slip on underneath this, I'm not going to do that. If it's already 90 degrees out and humid, the last thing I want to do is add another layer underneath of a breezy light skirt like this. I really think I can pass this off without wearing anything under it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would put anything under it. I do want to point out that the pink version of this and the yellow, I did pick up in a size extra small. I went in the opposite direction as I did with the Sofia Vergara top that I just shared with you, and that was a mistake. In this instance, it put the natural waistline too high. The reason that I went with an extra small, honestly, I was worried that this armpit would be too low on me, but but it turned out not to be the case. This one is a size small. It fit me better in the waist. I had no issue with the arm being too big. As much as I want to wear pastel and light colors in the spring and summer, my eye always goes to vibrant color and jewel tones, and this was no exception. As much as I like the pink and the yellow, and I am thinking about exchanging them for the correct size if they still have it at my local Walmart, I'm curious to know, out of the three, which color you think looks better. I feel like the yellow may wash me out. I'm on the fence about the pink. I think I can wear pink. But either way, I am definitely keeping this teal. I love it so much. This is definitely a hit for me. Let's look at the next piece. This next piece I also had high hopes for. This was a miss for me, but again, this might fit you fine, so I'm going to tell you about it. I first want to show this dress how I personally would wear this. Because this is very bare at the top, I didn't feel very comfortable in it. This may be fine for you. So I topped this off with that cute little chambray topper from Amazon that I will link in the description box that I mentioned a minute ago. But I digress. This is a slip dress, and it felt just a little bit bare to me. But I absolutely love the black and white polka dots, so I wanted to give it a Try. This is an online purchase. It is by the brand Scoop. They're calling this the V-neck midi slip dress with slit. At the time that I'm filming this, this is on sale online for $18. And anytime I can get a dress, a one and done outfit for under $20, I am thrilled. And I do think that this is well made. I just had some fit issues. This is available in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it does come in two colors. So there's this fun black and white polka dot, and then there's this lemony yellow. I had a hard time deciding, but honestly, the yellow was a little bit on the pale side, and I thought that it might wash me out. I do really love this pattern. The fabric is 100% polyester, 30% of which is recycled, and I always appreciate when recycled materials are used. This is machine washable. It does have fully adjustable shoulder straps, which are an absolute deal breaker or deal maker for me, rather, so I'm really glad that the straps are adjustable. It is a relaxed fit. It is a midi length, and then it has an asymmetrical side slit. It is lined on the front, so it does have some substance. I didn't feel like it showed every lump and bump, so I was relieved about that. I think that the fact that I am short-waisted is what caused the fit issue. The waist of this dress, no matter how I adjusted the straps, did not hit where my actual waist was. And when I turned to the side, I noticed that there's puckering in the back because again, because of being short-waisted, this is compressing this area and causing it to poof out. Not a fan of that look. If this dress had laid smooth on the back on me, I would 100% be keeping this. I love everything about it. It does have a little bit of a saucy slit, but it wasn't anything too outrageously high. I would love to get your honest opinion on this dress. I really want to love it, 
but I'm not sure how I feel about the way it lays on the back. Let me know in the comments down below if you think the polka dot dress is a keeper or a miss. Let's look at the next piece. These may just be my new all-time favorite jeans from Walmart, and that is saying a lot because you know how much I love my time and true high-rise skinny jeans. I also love my time and true straight-cut jeans. These I did pick up online. They're by the brand Sofia Vergara. They're calling these the skinny ankle fray hem jeans. These are available in sizes 2, through 20 and unlike in a physical Walmart store you do not have to root through the stack to find your size you can easily find your size online these are a high rise they have a button closure with a zip fly they are a classic five pocket style and they have just a little bit of distressing here and there and then they have a little bit of fraying at the hem I love this look in the spring and summer with a pair of cute sandals I love the wash of these you can see that it's a darker wash and then it has a little bit of whiskering these have just the right amount of stretch and true to Sofia Vergara jeans these really fit a female body beautifully. There is no stitching on the back. These are $27.50 and I personally think they're worth every penny. Now I'm going to show you a piece that I did not love. I nearly pulled this from this video because I didn't even want to show it. But then I thought, well, if you're looking at it online, how are you going to know how the fit is hideous if I don't talk about it? So I am going to take one for the team and show this one anyway, but I'm going to preface this by saying that this is a hard pass for me. This is by a brand called The Get. It is online. They're calling this the long sleeve cropped top with tie back. It is $24.30. That's a random amount if I don't say so myself. It comes in sizes extra small through extra large and it does come in two patterns. The fabric is 100% rayon and the care is fairly easy. It says to machine wash cold and hang to dry. This features a pullover styling with a tie closure at the back and I do think that is gorgeous. I also think that this squared off neckline is very flattering. This top is semi-fitted. It does have some smocking in the back that really helps to cinch it in. Although honestly because of the way this fit I would have preferred that it were not cinched in. I'll talk about that in just a moment. It also has this textured crepe feel to it. It does feel light and breezy. So where to start with the fit issues? Again because of the narrow shoulders I ordered this in a size extra small that was a mistake although honestly I don't think this would have fit me properly in any size the elastic hit me in such an odd place I realized that this is a three-quarter length sleeve if I wore it all the way down it wanted to pull up if I pushed it up it had to go over my elbow and the elastic was entirely too tight for that portion of my arm so the sleeves were ill-fitting the shoulders fit okay but then comes the disastrous part which is the length now I realized that it said cropped in the description but I am short-waisted I am 5'4 and I intended to wear this with high-waisted jeans so in my mind the two would meet and I would have no problem I had a problem during the try-ons that you're no doubt watching on and off off to the side every time I moved even the slightest and I'm not even talking about raising my arms this top was riding up on me and showing belly and that is an absolute no I am 59 years old and I am not about that life I am not wearing anything that exposes belly when I raised my arms it only got worse so this is a hard pass and a miss for me so I'm going to follow this up with a hit these gorgeous and comfortable sandals are by far one of my favorite items out of this entire video I love these so much I did get these online these are by Madden NYC they're calling these the jeweled thong sandals they are $24 which I honestly don't think is bad I have sandals that look very similar to this that I paid a lot more for these are also available in black and I am thinking about picking up the black as well I do want to mention that although I picked up this particular pair online I have been seeing this brand Madden NYC trickling into my local Walmart which is interesting because the Walmart that is closest to me is very small 
and very outdated. I really hope that they continue to bring this brand in store because I really like what I'm seeing from this brand. These sandals are a thong. They have this pretty jewel detail and then they do have a cushioned footbed like a lot of the sandals and shoes from Walmart lately. One of the things that I really like about this is that it has a little piece of goring right where the buckle is. So once I get this positioned where I want it, I can actually put these on and off without buckling and unbuckling. This is something that I do with every sandal that I own and if it passes that test it's a keeper. I really like these sandals in particular with the olive green lee shorts that I shared in my previous video. If you haven't watched that video I will link it in the cards above. I try on nearly every pair of shorts in Walmart looking for the perfect inseam but I digress. These are a hit. I am definitely keeping these. They have a good amount of tread you can probably even hear it. They have just a tiny, tiny little heel. There was no slipping and sliding. The cognac matches absolutely everything, and I am seriously considering going back and getting the black pair. I want to share a couple of pieces of jewelry that I'm loving right now. These fun color block earrings are a nice statement size without being too heavy. I did pick these up in store. They're by the brand Time and True. They are $5.92, which in the Walmart world is always a little bit high, but I think they're well made. They have the disc on the back to keep them flush to your ear. This is another pair of Time and True earrings. These are only $3.88. I love the fringe and movement and sparkle of these. These are feather light and these have a shepherd's hook on the back. When I have these on, I can barely feel them in my ears. I'm also loving these geometric earrings that I picked up in store. These are also by Time and True. They are also $3.88. And again, even though these are a nice statement size, these are feather light on the ears. I love the shine and movement of these as well. These also have a shepherd's hook on the back. Very comfortable on the ears. Okay, I am all about loose and flowy clothing, especially when it's hot out. Third time was not the charm. Again, I love the pattern and color of this top, but this one was a miss for me. However, it might work for you, so I'm going to tell you about it anyway. This I did pick up online. It is by the brand The Get. It is the pleated ruffle top, it is $24. It comes in sizes extra small through XXXL, and it is available in four gorgeous patterns and colors. I had a really hard time deciding which one to get, but I love the blue and the white in this one in particular. The fabric is 100% polyester, and again, just like with the white ruffled top that I shared with you a moment ago, this does not feel like polyester at all to me. This feels very breathable, very light, and really feels like cotton. So I'm especially bummed that the fit didn't work because I love the way this fabric feels. This has pretty easy care instructions, machine wash cold, and you can either hang to dry or tumble dry. It features a pullover styling with a square neckline, and the neckline has this pretty pleated detail and a double ruffle at the shoulder, which for my body type, I'm a big fan of. This really helps to balance out my figure. I wanted this to work so much. You can see the pleating detail on the back, probably more so in the try-ons. When I put this on, I had no option but to front tuck this. Now, I know that this is a controversial topic. Some of you say I would never tuck in a top and you should always do you. I often tuck in a top so that I have a little bit of waist definition. I had no other choice with this because when I had this untucked, because this is somewhat structured, it stood out like a maternity top on me, both in the front and the back. It just made me look about four sizes bigger than I am. So for that reason, I can only wear this tucked in. And I wanted to point out that there's something about this fabric that makes it kind of tent out. Now, if you like loose and flowy, this may be gorgeous on you. I just wanted to show you another pattern that I picked up. I love this one because it's white, black, and yellow, and quintessentially spring. Now, if you like a little bit of sparkle and shine on your shoes for the summertime, so that when the sun hits them, it glints off of the embellishments, you might love these. These were an online purchase. These are by that brand Madden NYC that I mentioned is coming into the store slowly but surely. They're calling these the Bling Square Low-Heeled Sandals. They are $22, which I think for the way these are made is a 
pretty reasonable price. These come in sizes 6 through 11. I am wearing these in my true size 8. I do find that these fit true to size. The sizing online is currently broken, but I've noticed that these are coming in and out of stock constantly. So if you check today, they may not be in stock in your size. Check in a day or two, you might just find them. These are a neutral color, so they're going to go with everything. They feature an embellished crisscross front strap. They do have a cushioned footbed and they also have a sturdy two inch block heel. Now I do want to point out that these are on the heavier side. They are not ridiculously heavy. You're not going to feel like you're walking around with cement blocks on your feet, but I will say that they're heavier than a lot of other shoes that I own. They are very well made though. They have a good amount of grip. This block heel really makes them easy to walk in, so I think it's worth the trade-off. If I were walking all day, if I was at a theme park, I really wouldn't wear these, but I wouldn't wear a shoe like this anyway to a theme park where I would be walking. Overall, I really like these. And just in case you care, they do actually come in a real box, so that feels fancy for Walmart, right? I like to have a box to store my shoes off season, so I was happy that these came in a box. I have two handbags to share with you. One was an in-store purchase, one was an online purchase, one was a miss, and one was a hit, so let's talk about both. This first bag I did pick up in store. It is by the brand Time & True. They're calling this the Lori Front Flap Crossbody Bag. It is $16.94, so I think it's a great price point. It is available both in store and online in four different colorways. This features a seven inch removable top handle and then a 44 inch fully adjustable crossbody strap. It does have a fold over flap with secure snap closure, a gold toned buckle accent and an exterior slip pocket. I love the embossed texture of this. I absolutely love this ivory color, but I do have a couple of issues with this bag. Although this has a slip pocket, they put it underneath the flap. So it's not as easy to get to. Now my cell phone does fit in it, I will give it that. But with that said, I really wish that the slip pocket were on the back, not underneath of a flap. This does have a really pretty lining. There is a zippered compartment and it holds a good bit for being a small crossbody bag. Here's the biggest issue that I had with this bag because otherwise, even with the slip pocket situation, I would probably still keep it. The top handle, the one that I'm holding right now, is fully detachable. It makes perfect sense to me. The adjustable crossbody strap is not detachable. It's adjustable, but it's not detachable. So if I want to carry the bag by this handle, which I more than likely would, I would have it in the crook of my arm, I either have to leave this strap hanging oddly off of the bag or fold it up and stuff it into the bag and take up a good amount of the interior space. So that just doesn't make sense to me. I'm curious to know what you think of this particular strap configuration. Would you just be fine with this hanging down or tucking it into the bag? Or do you feel like they could have taken one extra step and made both handles detachable? Be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Now I wanna share a bag that I am in love with. I'm going to rip the band-aid off and tell you that this is the most expensive piece in this entire haul, but it is still under $40. I did get this bag online. It is by the brand Sea Wonder. I see this brand off and on on the Walmart website. The pricing is usually a little bit higher, but I have to say that the quality usually is a little bit better too. So there really is a trade-off. In my world, this bag is a splurge. I don't usually spend $40 on a bag. It's extremely rare, but I already know I'm keeping this one and I'll tell you all of the reasons why. They're calling this the Jasmine Faux Straw Shoulder Bag. As I mentioned, it is a little bit pricey. It is $39.95, so just under $40. And interestingly, they say on the Walmart website that this allegedly has a retail value of $108. I don't know if I can agree with that, but I can tell you that it is well worth the $40, in my opinion. This bag is available in a couple of different colors. They have one called Wheat that is all light, kind of the color of this straw. It also comes in black. I picked up this cognac and straw combo because I absolutely love the combination with these sandals that I showed you previously. This bag has every feature that I want in a bag. It's not too small, it's not too big. 
It has a slip pocket on the outside, and this has a snap, so your phone is secure. I love this bamboo look handle. It is not actually bamboo, but it's probably a resin. This bag features a top zip closure to secure all of your items. It is fully lined and it has this pretty gold tone hardware, but my favorite part, unlike the Time and True bag, the crossbody straps are fully detachable. So that if I wanna carry this by this cute little faux bamboo handle or in the crook of my arm, I don't have the straps hanging down oddly, nor do I have to tuck the straps into the bag and take up space. I love this bag. It matches those sandals perfectly. I'm definitely going to keep it. I would love to know what you think about it, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I ha my forehead is, is my forehead shiny? Oh my gosh, put some powder on that thing. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if I can pass the shiny forehead test. Is my forehead shiny? I hope not. Back to the video. <laughs> and we're going to look, no we're not, we're not going to look at my, well, we are going to look at my kitchen, but that's not what I meant to say. Take two. <laughs> my hair looks like a train wreck today. <laughs> Just ignore all of this. Just listen to the descriptions. <laughs> oh no, my hanger is stuck in my hair. The perils of being a YouTuber. <laughs> the Madden NYC bling square low heeled sandals that's a lot to say they're calling this the Lori flat front crossbody bag it is they're calling this the Lori front they're calling this the Lori front they're calling this the Lori front flat cross why can't I say that oh my gosh Front flap, front flap, Lori front flap, <laughs> Lori front flap. <laughs> okay, I got it this time. <laughs> if you liked this video and would like to see more like it, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.